welcome to the video so we're working on training and strategies we're just doing a, a very long segment during this uh, off season I do have a few races coming up um, I do want to talk about the New York City Marathon um, and the races that I have coming up, you know, the next few months that are important to me. And definitely want to talk about today's video. So I was running and I really want to try to incorporate safety. I feel like no one ever talks about safety and what happens with safety and running and everything that goes along with that. So we'll jump back on that topic in just a second. Just wanted to catch you up on a few things that is going on. Uh, let's just jump right in. New York City Marathon. New York City Marathon. So I went on there, I did the lottery. They were like, okay, give us a credit card. We're gonna charge you a dollar if you don't get the New York City Marathon entry, then we will credit that dollar back. We just gotta do a dollar to make sure the card is good. Now, on March 28th, when we do the announcement, you'll get an email, and immediately following that email, after that, your account will be charged immediately $350 or whatever it was. I was like, all right, cool. I'll put a card on there, money's there, no biggie. March 28th comes around and you have not been selected for the New York City Marathon. So, 2025 will be my third year. And they usually said it's one in three odds to get selected for the New York City Marathon. Uh, so, I'm definitely pushing for 2025. I'll go in and I'll do the lottery once again speaking of lotteries the Leadville 100 race uh, ultra that I'm interested in doing I didn't get that one either so I'm gonna put in for that one and if I'm not mistaken uh, I want to say that one's in August and the lottery is sometime in the beginning of the year i think it's you got to like april the first couple weeks of april to get that down um so another big race on my radar my ironman this year is going to be panama city beach i got some family things going on so definitely not able to get a hold of chattanooga again that is one of the best races that Chattanooga um, Ironman puts on that I really enjoy uh, so we'll be putting that one down for 2025 also so yeah we got some things going on um, my next race will be Mother's Day weekend it'll be a 5k uh, Mayfair be in Lakeland Florida I am planning on doing a um, really really fast uh, race on that one as far as um, uh, lost train of thought as far as um, speed I definitely want to get my age group at least you know first place top three you know however that looks and then so right now it's looking like 5k Mayfair I'm gonna do a series in um, st. Pete it's three races it's one race a month for the next three months in the summer so I'm gonna sign up for all three it's on a Sunday which is you know pretty easy to 
kind of move around everything. And then my race for Ironman will be Panama City Beach, of course. As long as get signed up, get hotel accommodations, everything you know lined up. And then I always like to do the the Hain City half uh, triathlon, which is through Ironman also, and that's in Hain City, Florida, 70.3. Definitely enjoy that one. There was a situation with the weather last year. It was in the 50s and the water temperature was in the 60s. I definitely struggle with uh, colder water temperatures. My open water swim right now over at Lucky's Lake Swim is in the low 70s. So you can wear a wetsuit. Um, definitely tr working on going over there Saturday. So that's a couple of days away. Uh, got that kind of in the works and I'll, I'll cover that for you as well. Um, gnats are kind of bad out here today, man. Um, did knock out the run uh, tonight and the run was heels and it ended up being um, nine minute pace, uh, a little over three miles. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, hill strategy, like I tell everybody, is down the hard, down the hills hard, hard effort. Um, just your max, everything, and then pace yourself up the hills, but push up the hills, just nice and easy. All right, so got y'all caught up. Uh, looking like uh, safety. So let's talk about safety. Now, there is a lot of run groups. Uh, when you're running with, say, a group, make sure you got lights on, uh, reflectors, you know, vest, just anything to let the folks driving on the roads that you are visible. Visibility to a cyclist, a runner, even if you're swimming uh, in an open water swim and there's boats, make sure you got a buoy. So safety is key. Safety will get you back home to your loved ones. Uh, I'm definitely gonna harp on that. That is something that I believe in. I do understand you're working hard and you're doing a training segment and you're trying to get from A to B. I get it. I'm there every day. I've ran a minimum of a mile every day this year on top of my regular training so i'm already at a ultra we're already 100 days into this year and i've already done an ultra with running just one mile a day at the very bare bones and then on top of my other training that i do every day so i'm training about six seven hours a week uh which is my off season training now once i do go into a race then i'll go into a race segment and i will up the mileage for either the run the bike or the swim depending on what what race that you know you're doing uh so yeah safety is definitely key uh if you go to your local uh run shops they'll have the runs posted i can almost guarantee you that every run will be posted at your run shop and try not to run by yourself I do run by myself, but most of the time I'll run on like a uh, like a lake. I'll run on a lake, and there's a pavement all the way around the lake. There's only one or two small intersections that you got to really look, and that's just going to the parking. That's not even like messing around with uh, like a main intersection, like having to cross, uh, or like tonight I'm doing the hills. It's up and down. It's in a residential neighborhood. Uh, sidewalks are optional. I do run on the road because it's very, very low traffic. Uh, I just like the way the crown of the road feels. So, safety first. Remember, you want to get home to your loved ones and you want to be able to get home and kiss them and love on them. And if someone's trying to read your road ID bracelet, it's not for any reason that you want them to read it. It's not because you're trying to promote Road ID. It's because they're trying to figure out who you belong to. 
yes, you'll be alive. You're not going to die if you were to fall or, or, or get hit by a car. No, you're going to be fine. But if you're unconscious, road ID, they're going to read that and they're going to call your loved one and let them know what's going on with you and all the good fun details just to keep you safe. So that is where we're at. So remember, safety first. I believe in the road ID. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Hope the safety hints and techniques and everything I said was helpful. Just click that little like button. And I got more videos coming. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.